I get it, fellas. You're trying to take your lady out, and that cost two weeks worth of pay. You're trying to get groceries, and that's sixty dollars for three items. You're trying to fill up your car and find some places to park, and that's the other half of your paycheck. And you still got to pay rent. Who has time to pay for clothing? Well, in reality, this is the best time for you to be investing in your image. Because whether we like it or not, we still gotta throw on some clothes, even if we're working from home. And when we want to step out, we always want to represent the best versions of ourselves. Even if we are building our wealth up, even if we are cultivating our financial prowess, we still wanna make sure that we are showing up as the best version of ourselves. So today, I'm gonna be giving you tips that you can utilize in order to do so even if you are balling on a budget. And make sure you stay tuned for the last tip because it's gonna be one that a lot of guys do not think about and a lot of image consultants or stylists never tell you to do that can be extremely beneficial for you. Let's step into a dressing room. Welcome to a dressing room. Here on this channel, we are all about personal development through personal style so that you can tell your story without ever having to say a word. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, then go and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time new content comes out. Now I can't tell you how many guys have walked into my shop and we start having some conversations, they see some pieces that they like and then they are kind of shell-shocked or sticker-shocked when they look at the price point of the item that they are getting. And especially now, it makes a whole lot of sense for them to be hesitant on making that purchase with gas prices going up with the economy becoming more inflated with pricing and you having to pay twenty dollars to get three pieces of groceries i get it and in this time this is actually the time for you to hone in the most on your personal style because we seemingly don't have an abundance of resources that are coming in this is the time for you to make the proper investments in your image so that you're not wasting money on fast fashion or on trends that are not going to benefit or reflect who you are. So I wanted to provide you with solutions when you're getting your money up to ensure that you're still showing up in style even if you're balling on a budget. So the first tip to really cultivate your style when you are balling on a budget is to create a uniform style. So one of the things that my students in a dressing room the course have learned is when you really start to create a uniform, you're not only creating something that you can go to over and over and over again, you also are informing the world about who you are. That's why it's a uniform, because you are informing the world of, about who you are, and you're also formulating your own perspective or your own point of view when it comes to your personal style or you in fashionable form in that space. So when you create a uniform, you're creating something that is going to express to the world that I still care about my image, even if I can't do that at a super luxurious or expensive level. In the retail space, I still care about how I'm going to show up. And you'll find that that is actually going to create an abundance mindset because abundance isn't about having a lot of something necessarily. It's about you having qualitative items that you can continue to invest and build upon. So the next tip that you can utilize is shopping on sale for out of season items. Now, a common misconception here is that you're going to have heavyweight garments in the fall or winter or super lightweight seasonal garments in the spring and summer. And while that may have some truth to it, in all actuality, when you are shopping out of season, they may have coats, jackets, and things of that nature over on this side, but over on this side, they may still have suiting, shirting, and different items that are going to be more color coordinated for the fall and winter or more texturized for the fall and winter that you can still wear three to four seasons out of the year. And if you think about those elements, if you find something that you really, really love over in this side where it's going to be more color driven for the season than it is fabric driven, then you have a four season item that you can get a lot of investments in. Not to mention, this is the greatest time to go shop at high end stores because they may have sales for 60, 70, sometimes even 80% off. And so you can get a high quality designer piece at a fraction of the cost that everybody else would be paying for it 
retail. So quick caveat, when you are buying or shopping for sales online that a lot of guys also don't think about, think about outlet spaces. So you don't necessarily have to go to an outlet mall in order to find items that will fit your budget, but think about an off Saks Fifth or a Nima Marcus last call for high-end tutorial designer items. So here you may be able to go to their suit section and find a Canali or find a Zenyo or Isaiah type of suit at 80 to 90% off because it's two or three seasons old, but that don't have anything to do with you showing up in style in this season. So don't dismiss the opportunity to leverage a outlet type of store in order to get what it is that you're looking for. So it's interesting to me that a lot of the guys don't take advantage of this last tip that I'm gonna give you. And that is going to get a job at one of these fine retailers. Now, if you already have a job, I'm not telling you to go get a second full-time job, but go get a part-time job that allows you to work three or four days out of the week for three or four hours. Now, just think about it. Even if you're working in the stock room, you have the opportunity to educate yourself on a diverse offering of different types of brands. You're going to be able to see how other people are styling or putting items together. You're gonna to get a 50 to 60% discount. And on top of that, if they're having a out of season sale, they still will often allow you to apply your discount to that. And in that same space, you are going to be able to try a lot of different types of things on to see how they fit you. And this is also a great opportunity for you to learn and discover what makes something a qualitative garment, especially if you're dealing with a staff that is very knowledgeable in those different types of elements. And maybe you can't get a job at the highest level of retail, right? You can't go to a Neiman Marcus or Saks. We can still go to a fine men's department store and build your wardrobe at that point, gain some knowledge, and then after a year or two, Go and reapply at that high level space. You never know what opportunity may allot you just because of the work that you put in. I would also recommend that you would also look for the smaller clothing stores. So especially when it comes to menswear, a men's haberdashery to go and apply because these are going to have the best items for building a true sartorial wardrobe. All right, fellas, so if you are willing to make an investment into really figuring out what your you in form is going to be. You are then willing to take the time to pay attention to when sales are going on and you're definitely not afraid to step into the back of a shop and be in the stock room or on the floor part time, then I guarantee you, you're going to build your wardrobe even if you're not making a lot of money or having to adjust during this economic downturn. And this is going to be the best opportunity for you to see yourself as an abundant, successful individual while everybody else is looking at the world with this defeated mindset. And don't forget, be great today. But then again, you already are. So now all you have to do is step out of the dressing room and make a statement that you are without saying a word. If you are looking to develop your personal style, then make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And above all, don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you, yes, you should always dress to express. Let's step out of the dressing room and I'll see you next time. Peace.